the reason I wanted to talk to you uh, yeah. was uh, Drazen. Yes. You played with Drazen. So yes. how was he as a guy? You know, uh, you were close to him, you know, as a teammate and stuff like that. How was Drazen as a guy? Uh, very quiet. You know, he got the job done, you know, uh, NBA, because he went from uh, Portland where he wasn't playing as much and he wanted to belong. He wanted to belong in the NBA and he got got traded to New Jersey and boom, you know, and um, all his personality, I think his personality and everything came out. And he was a hard worker, extremely hard worker. Um, I, 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 I knew him well on the court and in practice, but then off the court, we really didn't, I really didn't get to know him as much as I should have. Have you ever considered, you know, with uh, your teammates in, in New Jersey, What would happen if Drazen was alive and he was staying on the team, of course? What would have, it, would have happened? It, it would have been very uh, interesting, I tell you that, because um, I played in the era of uh, Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls, uh, Patrick Ewan, Charles Oakley, Andy Mason, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers had Mark Price, Brad Doherty, uh, those guys. Uh, uh, Orlando had Shaq and Penny, but we was right there. We had a good team. So we was on our way. We was very on our, we was on our way. And when, when, when he passed, it seemed like everybody left. Everybody wanted to leave New Jersey. And, and that's what happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, about, what about him? Do you have any, any special story you can share with us? Maybe from practice, I don't know. Maybe one day he scored like, I don't know, 15 consecutive three-pointers. You know, the, the thing I really remember is, is, I think his career high against Houston Rockets. He was just killing them at 40-something points. Mm -hmm. And Vernon Maxwell, who was, uh, who, who was a great defensive player and talk a lot and get in you, get in you defensively, he, he, he couldn't do nothing with Drazen that night. He was just on fire. Mm -hmm. Did you know anything about Drazen before joining the Nets? Because uh, here no, in I, Europe, in Europe, we knew that he was, he was a killer. We knew that I did. for the first time. I did. They beat us. You know, I, I played in the World Games. That's when our college team was playing. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, me, Alonzo Morning. So I played against Cool Coach, uh, Drazen Petrovics, and um, some uh, th that team he had over there. They beat us. You know, he, he was a shooter, coming off screen, shooting, playing. I, I played well, but um, I think myself, Alonzo Morning, played well, but they had too much for us. They was very, uh, very talented. Uh, do you uh, do you talk about uh, Drazen? You know, with uh, your former teammates, or are there moments you uh, you thinking about him? You know, how sad that he passed away, very and, uh, young, and stuff like that. I don't talk to my teammate, but I mention him to my wife a lot. You know, she she really um, and my son. I talk to him um, a lot about Drazen Petrovic, how he played the game. You know, my my son is playing now, so I, I mention him you know, all throughout. But like I said, um, this month, everybody's been bringing him up and talking about him. And it's very, it's a, it's a, it's a tragic. And um, I, I have, a, you know, Instagram account and I get in touch with it. I think his girlfriend survived, mm -hmm. survived the car crash. And she's, you know, it was, it was tough on her and, and she's able to get in contact with me, you know, through Instagram. So it's a very, um, very shaky, uh, To just talking about him because he was a great he was a great player, but I was just getting to know him as a person. Yeah.